<clears throat> Hi, everybody. It's Bonkai922. Time for another spring episode review. Um, Dragon Heart Academy. Now, this episode, uh, the only question, the only problem I'm, I'm, I'm finding that I have with this anime there's one um, VA that they selected to play one of the characters. And for some reason, I find it out of place. I don't know why. Um, it just it just doesn't seem like, you know, the voice... I, I, don't, I don't picture this person having this voice. I picture, you know, a bit, a bit more high, more higher pitch. But then again, maybe it'll work out for the best. I don't, I don't think it'll have any merit later on, but, you know, I, I just wonder about it. Of course, I'm talking about the one who plays the princess. Um, I believe it's Sylvia Latremont. Uh, I felt like her voice could have been done in a different way, you know, but still not too bad, not too bad. But I just felt it could be done in a different way. But hey, it's just me. Uh, so in this episode, it's episode two of Dragon R Academy. We have, um, who was it? We have, um, the reveal of Ash's dragon, his pal, his pap. Um, yeah, it's a little. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's just, you don't get any more. You can't get any more cut and dry than that. It's it's pretty much a loily. It's um, yeah, it's. Hey, I said it in the title. DBL, dragons, boobs, and loilies. Now, this was in the ma. Not I can't really speak for the light novel, but in the manga. They don't show this character having, you know, because obviously it's a dragon. See, that's the whole gist. The, 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 the dragon is in human form, supposedly, and these round things on her head are supposed to be horns. So, well, we, well, you, you, anime only watchers for this series, you, you'll, you'll understand what that means later on. Now, another thing that I've noticed, it might be that they're doing a kind of fast pace with this. Hopefully, I don't have to, I don't have to experience another magical warfare. But, I don't think that's going to happen. Because, I can see what, I can see what, they, I, can, I can see what they might be doing here. But, for this episode, pretty much, he encounters his dragon... And she punches him in the face, first chance she gets, because she's naked. <laughs> the voice for her, uh, the dragon, is pretty good. Um, her name's, alright, I might as well tell you. Her name's Echo. I mean, and that's the name he gives her, um, Ash. And in this episode, we basically just get the 411 uh, of Echo. She treats, she, she's the master. In her eyes, she's the master. And Ash is the um, servant. She calls him a dog. I'm already noticing something here. Like, there's a big similarity between this show and Familiar of Zero. In, in, that, in that regard. And even if you look at the characters, uh, you know, Echo, she's got pink hair. Uh, in Familiar of Zero, the female there, I forgot her name, has pink hair. So there is already a similarity there. But basically in this episode, you know, the president, Miss Rebecca, there, she can get the D. She basically shows up and, um, you know, tells, uh, yeah, that's right. She tells, um, Ash about that the doc doctor, this doctor that shows up, which is going to be, you know, 
until she comes, the doctor here, and investigates your pal, Pap. He'll be staying here for now. She will be staying here for now. So basically, that's the story. You know, here's the thing about her. She's like naked all the time. Uh, give me a freaking break, man. You know, it's like one of those things in anime where you say, that's like a little girl. Oh, no, 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 it's not a little girl. It's a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you, you tell me it's a dragon, but in reality, I see a little girl. And then I, I get I get loyally dragons. It's like, no. But essentially, the rest of the episode, she he basically help, gets his pal, Pap Echo, clothes, and they go around town. She makes some crepes, all that jazz. Until eventually, <laughs> yeah, Sylvia Latremont shows up and she punches him because he's, you know, doing lewd acts with the uh, um, Echo. So, and she's there to apologize to him because of what she said before when, oh, your pilot's already dead. You know? And then she's like one of those, you know, Sudan characters. So, you know, you get to just there. And the rest of the episode, pretty much, we got the, what seems to be a dark figure watching. I already know who the dark figure is. It's not a big surprise. It's watching, um, Ash with Echo. Uh, and, you know, you kind of get the gist of what's going to go down later on. But what ends up happening is Echo gets taken when she goes to the bathroom. And they go after the person, and he basically activates um, his flow, the astral flow. You're going to get a lot of details about that later on. The astral flow occurs when you form a contract with your dragon. And that's basically what he did in this episode as well. So basically he activates the astral flow, and these butterflies show up, and Ash basically goes after him. He finds out where Echo is. And what they find out is it was the doctor. And I believe this doctor's name was Crawford. Let me just make sure of that. Cornwell. Cornwell. Dr. Cornwell. And she essentially wanted to dissect Echo. I'm like... So what ends up happening is uh, Sylvia and her you know, maid got knocked out while Ash almost got knocked out, but what ended up happening is Echo activated the the mark and his the astral flow, the magic started going into his mark, which is the astral flow, and he ended up um saving her. And he does this like move when he, this magic burst into Dr. Cornwell and he saves her and then and it is one part she punches him. Like, don't do that again. Why are you touching me again? You know, she punches him. Like, but I, I like Echo. She, she gets kind of annoying at times, but I like her. She, she's kind of cute and everything. I mean, the only thing is, man, come on. She's a dragon. But later on, you find out the whole story about that, uh, her uh, as the show goes along. But that's pretty much what happened, and then at the end, we find out she's teaching them quite well, so they're going to see more of her. Um, that's pretty much what happened in this episode. It was it was pretty quick. This is, this. I could see it being fast-paced, but at the same time, I could see them getting a lot in, you know, for these episodes. Don't know how much, and I noticed that from all the other series that I've been watching, they're not really clamping on how many episodes each one's going to have. Yet. We have to wait and see. But I'm thinking, out, out of all of them, I'm pretty sure JoJo is going to get like 24, 25, 26. Uh, this one is probably going to only get 13. Unfortunately. Um, Captain Earth is, is tricky. Captain Earth, maybe 25, 26. Who knows? And then, of course, you've got the others, the other ones as well. But, you know, this was a good episode. And next week, which is going to be really awesome. 
Let me just tell you right now. The preview. Oh, oh by the rating for this, I'm going to give it four out of five. Um, the preview for next week's episode is spectacular. Like, we're going to have... He dons this armor. Oh, shit. And this, like, big-ass sword. You, you, you get the... Un what, what occurs in that... Um, situation is... It has to do with Echo herself. You, you, you'll get it. They'll probably more or less explain it in the next next week's episode. Um, unlike, and I don't want to really go into this because it's for next week, but I'm, I'm, I really don't want to talk about this because, you know, then I'm spoiling. But he dons this armor, Ash, and. In next week's episode, they essentially will explain this. They'll explain what the whole story behind his armor is, Echo is, and all that stuff. It gets in very great detail. So next week's episode, we'll probably go into that. But this was a good episode, like I said, four out of five. Um, you know, they're following the path that they're following. Remember, I read all the manga, even though this is going to be through the light, the light novel. And... Trust me. Trust me when I say this. It's going to get good. It's going to get good. You're going to get a lot of interesting um, fights and dragons and all that jazz. So look forward to it. I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Uh, yeah, Cornwall, she got the, got the boobies. A lot of boobies in this freaking show. Oh my god. Too many boobies. Way too many boobies. You got Rebecca, you got Cornwell. There's like, uh, by my count, there's like about four? It's like four or five girls with boobies? Like, enough of the boobies. Come on. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.